Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? I'm Toby Bomber, and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in about a month or a month and a half. I this is just a, YouTube is always last for me. I like I've explained in other videos. Uh, Fortnite and Overwatch, those those big games you gotta work hard on. I just put them first a lot, so I'm sorry that I've made like I haven't uploaded in about a month and a half. But it's okay. Because today, I'm going to be talking about... Okay, so, first of all, before I start talking about it, let me get this out there. About maybe a, maybe a few months ago, Warner Brothers announced that they were going to be making a Joker movie. They, they announced it. They were, going, they were making one. But we had no... Uh, we had no idea what it was going to be, who the actor was going to be. We didn't knew, know who the actor was officially going to be until about a week or two ago when Joaquin Phoenix, I don't really know, I haven't really watched any of his movies, but uh, they announced that he, they confirmed uh, that he, the director, Todd Phillips, who also has made The Hangover, and, uh, shoot, he made one other movie, I can't remember it, but uh, he just, this just seems like a really, really good movie and there's nothing that could go wrong with it. Like, like Aquaman and Shazam, I can't think of anything wrong that can go with this Joker movie. Like, I can't think of really anything wrong that will screw it up. Uh, but apparently instead of Jack Napier, it's going to be Albert, Al, Al, Albert Fleck, or Arthur Fleck, I'm pretty sure it's Arthur Fleck, that is going to be uh, playing human, no, he's going to be playing the Joker, well, he, not, not Hawking Phoenix, Arthur Fleck is his name in the movie, before the Joker. So, um, you should probably holding it like this. If you can't hear, if you can't really hear it as well, I'm sorry. But I am just really excited for this movie. But they confirmed this about a week or two ago. The director Todd Phillips, he on his Instagram account or Facebook or whatever, he uh, he dropped the first picture of who he was going to look of how Human Joker is going to look like. And uh, about another about a week later from that, he dro uh, we. Uh, they released exclusive footage of a scene with him talking to a side uh, side street clown in uh, New York Harlem during the 80s. Yes, this movie takes place in the 1980s, and it wasn't until yesterday I was actually I found I was actually I didn't ever found it on YouTube. But I saw it on my friend Peyton's uh, Instagram uh, as an ad. I was like, huh? Uh, he showed me it, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. This ad was. The Albert Fleck, not in a human form, wearing clown makeup. No, this isn't how he's going to look as the actual Joker, like the chemical, like when he falls in the vat of chemicals. This is how he looks before, like when he, he's in the comedy club. Like, I guess he tried, maybe one part of the movie, he'll try putting on clown makeup or something like that. And the clown makeup is very, very John Wayne Gacy expired, you know, inspired, which I think is actually a good idea considering John Wayne Gacy was a killer clown, like in the 1960s and 70s. He was a monster. He was crazy. I hated John. Okay, I, okay. Who, who doesn't hate serial killers? Because they are just... He was a twisted dude. He was a really twisted dude. Probably just as twisted as Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know. But Jason Rabbit there. His clown makeup is very John Wayne Gacy like inspired. So he's got like the big blue eyes, the big like bozo, the like, clown like red mouth. Like you know what I mean? And I actually like it a lot. Not as the actual Joker, but I really like it because I find it very intimidating. Because not only did he make it intimidating, but John Wayne Gacy also made it very, very intimidating. Like, he, they made they made Albert Fleck or Joaquin Phoenix made, like really, really intimidating and scary looking. Like, like and this isn't even as a Joker. He's, probably, this is pretty, he's going to probably be a lot more intimidating in this form than he's the actual Joker. So, I don't know. We haven't seen it yet. We should get a trailer in about January or February of 2019. Just, I don't know for sure. We're just, I'm just assuming that. We're just assuming that. The whole DC fan base. And everyone, all my friends, the fan base, we are all excited for this Joker movie. And I cannot wait. And I'm looking forward to this movie. And I can't really think of anything that's going to go wrong with it. Like, this, the actor, I heard Joaquin Phoenix is like an amazing actor. Like, amazing. Jared Leto, Jared Leto wasn't even, like, 
consider he isn't even that good of an actor, in my opinion, to be honest. I'm not saying I hated his Joker. I liked his Joker. I'm just saying they could have got someone who is so much better than Jared Leto to play the Joker. I like the suit. I like the look. I thought it was cool. I love the jacket. I love like the shirtless like Joker and the tattoos. That sounds gay, but I'm not gay. I'm hetero as you can get. I, I love like his like how all his tattoos like the one that's really like cool and gangster like, but he's just as crazy as the Heath Ledger one and Jack Nicholson one. So I I kind of liked the appearance. I just hated the actor for uh, the Joker uh, and Suicide Squad. But this movie looks really really great. I cannot wait till the trailer comes out. It's also confer it's also uh, assumed that Z Zazie Beetz, uh, who played Domino in Deadpool two, is going to be friends with Albert Fleck in this movie. It's pro uh, my it's probably stepsister or I don't know person he's living with like or something like that. That's what I heard. And we're getting a good bit of stuff before the trailer drops, and I'm actually really excited. So this movie, uh, Joker, is planned to be released uh, about a week or two before Halloween in October 14th or 21st, something like that, uh, 2019. And about so about maybe a year and a month from now, we will get the Joker movie. And another thing I need to get out there: this doesn't take place in the. Uh, this doesn't take place in the DCEU with Justice League and all that stuff. But this is their separate universe. Because you know how DC has a lot of separate Earths? They did this thing called DC Black. Uh, and they're, that's their universe. They're calling it DC Black so they could have a separate universe. To ha but they're going to have the same origin as the Joker. They're going to have him be a comedian. They're going to have the Red Hood, like, villain transformation, and then go into the Joker. They're going to have his abusive father, his childhood, which I really, really want. I really, really want the character, like, build up in this movie. I want to know why. This is, the Joker's never gotten his own movie before. So I'm really hoping Todd Phillips doesn't screw this up. I know he's probably going to do a really great job, because I love The Hangover and all his works. They're really funny. But this is a serious, grim tone. And I have a lot of hope in this. A lot of my friends do. A lot of the fan base does. And I feel like they're going to revive the Joker. Uh, but here's another thing, though. Th this isn't the only Joker movie they're going to make. Give in a few years after this, like in tw after maybe 2021, 2022, we're probably going to we're going to get a Jared Leto solo. So we're planning on getting a Jared Leto solo solo film. Warner Brothers is planning on that. So we could, uh, so he can redeem himself. You know what I mean? Because he didn't have a lot of screen time. So how could he redeem himself in suicides? How could he? Even show the world that he was a good Joker in Suicide Squad if he only had like 7, 12 minutes of screen time, you know? So that's kind of stupid. Uh, I'm not saying I hated Suicide Squad. I love Suicide Squad. The soundtrack was amazing. Acting was great. I loved the suits. I loved the heroes. I loved the action. I love everything about it. A million times better than Fantastic Four reboot. Like, it makes, Fanta it makes like Green Lantern and... Fan the Fan Four Stick makes Green Lantern and Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad look like a masterpiece. Like, they're, it's, it's that bad. Same with Catwoman. But I guess I'm chasing a lot of rabbits. I'm getting off topic a lot. All I'm trying to say is, my thoughts on this uh, Joker thing, I heard the test, so this might actually not be in the movie, but I'm hoping it is going to be, because I love, I love this uh, uh, new like test. Uh, now, if you don't, I'll try to put a link down in the thing below if, uh, to the video. If I can find it on YouTube, if I can't, then just don't blame me. Because I, I found it on Instagram, not YouTube. And just, yeah, I think this is a really, really great and a really interesting looking, like, beforehand, before chemical action Joker. And I have a lot of faith in this movie. I know I said a lot. But this movie looks amazing. Like Aquaman and Shazam, this looks like 100% Rotten Tomatoes material. On second thought, no, I can't make that assumption because I haven't seen the trailer yet. But I have, I have that spark, that spark that can just ignite in my brain, that knows, like, I have that feeling that it's going to be a great movie. I have that, like, sense, that intuition, you know what I mean? Uh, Wonder Woman, I had no idea that was going to be such a great movie. But if one thing you do, you should realize, DC solo movies do really good. Like, Man of Steel and Wonder Woman, they just hit a Justice League, BVS, and Suicide Squad. Those are team movies. Now, think of the solo movies. Those look really, really good. Okay. Now, where are we? Okay, I'm about to be 10 minutes. I need to wrap this up. I love the I love the mat the clown makeup. I think this is really cool. 
Joaquin Phoenix, he looks a little interesting. I'm not really used to seeing human jokers beforehand, but this is an origin movie, so I can't really blame him, so it kind of has to be that way. And that's my opinion. So, uh, if you'd love this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment on what you would love the Joker to be like. If you didn't like it, if you did like it, just tell me down in the comment section below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, because I really will like subscribers, and I really need them, because I am a small YouTube channel. Simple as that. So, I'm Toby Bomber, signing off. I love you guys. Have a great Saturday.